Welcome Outlanders to my revised cache location video. Take a moment to pause the video, find the timestamp that correlates with the photograph you have, and then click the view more option below the video to reveal the timestamps and skip to the section that covers your cache. If you're new to the game, hang around a moment for a short rundown on how the photograph and cache system work. First off, let me say welcome to all the new Outlanders. It's great to have some new players in the game, really brings in some fresh blood. And, uh, you know, people, when they're new to games, they tend to throw little curveballs. They think differently than the players that have been playing it for a long time. So I'm really looking forward to running into some people. Now down to the, the photograph and the stash. What we have here, you can see, is a list of containers that do not contain the photograph. You'll find the photograph everywhere else, pretty much any container you loot, and that's important. You'll want to find that photograph because it's going to show you where to go on the map to get the stash. That's going to be the only one that has loot in it. There are going to be false caches all over. You may be running around and find a spot on the ground you can dig, but if you dig, it's most likely going to be empty, especially if you have a photograph that's showing you that you're supposed to be digging somewhere else. So it's really key to find that photograph so you know where to go. When you go and dig up the cache, you're going to find metal inside, wires, nails, medical supplies, weapon parts, food, all sorts of stuff. And the amount of stuff inside is increased when it is boosted. So it is very, very important that you find that photograph when it's boosted like that. So you can do just as I'm doing right here and loot all that. All that's from boosted. That's pretty much how that works. Uh, there really isn't a lot more to it. Again, these containers do not have the photograph. Uh, all the others do. Once you find the photograph, you can come here, find your photograph on the timestamp sheet out at the beginning of the video. You head to that location on the map, and then dig up the stash, and you've got all the loot. Good luck out there. Take care, guys. To find this stash, just act like you're going to the last building on the south end of the map, just off the river. Where my star is on the map is where the building is. That's the building there, and you want to just come a little bit north of the building, and you'll find your stash located right there. The next location is west of the bee yard. It's going to be west of these two red houses. And it's located right up here between these two rocks. The next stash is located west of the chapel, up the hill across the road. You're going to look for this blue house. The photograph is taken like this. At this angle, you can see the blue house and the yellow tank in it. And the stash is located right up here in between these two rocks on the ground right there. This next stash location is really easy to find. Just look for the footbridge in the middle of the map. It's located right there. And you come off the end of that east side and you're going to find the stash located right there on the ground next to the boat. This next stash location can be a little tricky to find if you're just trying to use the photograph. It's taken from inside the chapel on the map, out this window, and the stash is actually located in front of the headstone right here on the ground. Our next location is located by the Firewatch Tower that is on the southeast side of the map. The photograph looks this direction. You just go down the hillside over the edge of this big white rock and you'll find the stash located right there. Our next stash location is located just a little north and east of the roadblock. Photograph is taken from this direction. You'll see an X mark right about where my crosshairs are. So just go ahead and run, jump over this fence, and then you will find the stash located on the ground right there. Our final stash location is located on the north end of the map along this stream. 
the only stream on the map it's very easy to find just go up the right side of that stream all the way to the top and then you're going to find the stash located right behind this rock our next location is north and west of the footbridge you're going to be able to see that barn this rock is just north of that fence and the stash is located right here on the uh, edge of this hill I'm sure most of you are familiar with the B-Yard. Just want to head north and east a bit out of the B-Yard. You're looking for this rock right here. And you'll find your stash right there. Not hard to find this stash. Just head to the trail bridge on the north end of the map. Come across the bridge. Head north off of the bridge. And you'll find your stash located right there underneath that rock. To find this stash, just head to the cabin ruin, then head south from the cabin ruin toward that rock. You will find your stash located just to the right of the rock right there. For this stash, you want to head south, Carpentry. That's Carpentry right there behind me. Jump the fence. As you're looking south, you're going to see that rock and bush there. Just run right toward those. And just to the right of the bush, you will find your stash right there. To find this stash, just head north and east a bit of the Forester's Cabin. You're looking for this rock structure here, and you will find your stash located right there in front of it. To find this stash, just head to the cabin ruin. Out in front of the cabin here to the north, you're going to find this pile of junk, and your stash is right next to it. For this stash, just head to where you see my marker right now. On the last building on the right hand side as you're heading south out of the map. Photograph looks this direction. And you're just looking for this tree out in front of the house and your stash is buried right there. To find this stash you either want to go north from Carpentry or south from where you can see the marker on my map. That's the last group of homes on the right as you head south out of town. You're looking for this structure. Go south of that structure towards these trees and off toward these logs. You're going to find the stash located right there. This stash is located south of the road bridge out in the river. You can come down either the west or east side of the river. I recommend the west side because then you can easily jump out onto these rocks. You'll find your stash located right there. This stash is located just north and west of the warehouse. That's the warehouse there behind me. You're looking for that structure right there. You want to run toward the structure. Follow this little footpath to the right and you'll find your stash right there next to that tree. This spot is located just west of the warehouse. Put the warehouse to your back. Head up this hill a little bit. You're looking for this rock, and your stash is located right there. This cache is located near the roadblock. You just need to come to the south side of the roadblock and find this green car here. Look up this hill, and you're going to run all the way up there. rock between these two sections here 
you're looking for the sash. Right there. It's fairly easy to find this location. You just need to be south of the chapel. You're looking for that trailer and tractor right there. And you'll find the stash right underneath the trailer there. The stash is located on the northeast side of the logistics depot. There's a depot there. You're looking for these rocks and bushes on the north side. And your stash is right there. This stash is located west from the footbridge. There's the footbridge there. You can come through this field here. We'll jump that fence and then what you're looking for is that rock and tree right there. You just head up the hillside. You're gonna find your stash located right there. This stash is located in the southeast corner of town. All you have to do is find this last red house, come around to the back side, look for this structure, and then go to the back of that, and you'll find the stash right there. This stash isn't terribly hard to find. All you need to do is go to the north end of the map, where the stream crossing is, cross the river, You'll find your stash right here. For the next stash location, we are located south of Logistics Depot, up on the hillside above the depot itself. The photograph looks this direction. You'll see this tree in the photograph, and that tree and the stash is located right in between them on the ground here. Well guys, that concludes this cache location video. I hope you found it helpful. If you find a photograph I missed, feel free to send it to postforphoenix at gmail.com. That email address is down below. Make sure to include your username and the console you play on. That way I can include that in the description down below and on top of the photograph in the video. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are all getting the loot out there and uh, taking care. Good luck in the Outlands. Later.